That's one. Take it down. <laughs> For today's video, we're going to be getting some gameplay with the new mythic hero Wu Kong, who is a berserker soldier. And this is the first time we're getting gameplay with the Berserker, so I'm going to go ahead and run through his perks really quick. His three main abilities are Shockwave, Warcry, and Frag Grenade. His Frag Grenade is mediocre, his Warcry is pretty decent, and his Shockwave is really good. As for his other perks, he has Advanced Tactics, Debilitating Shots, Survivalist, Explosive Optimization, which is going to reduce the energy cost of Shockwave. He also has up close and personal, which is going to allow your war cry to apply three stacks of debilitating shots to nearby enemies. He also has leadership, hold still, which is going to replace shockwave knockback with increased impact and enemy stun. And he also has short fuse as well as kneecapper. And I'm going to be showing examples of most of these perks during the gameplay. But at the very bottom it says Legendary Monkey King who wants to get in close and fight regardless of the consequences. And as for his bonuses, he has an increase in assault weapon damage for his support slot. And for his tactical slot, he has Hold Steel, which is going to replace Shockwave Knockback with Impact and Enemy Stun. As for our loadout, we're going to have Sergeant Jonesy in our support slot because that's going to increase our assault weapon crit hit damage and I've never used this support squad bonus before so that's the main reason we have him in our support slot and in our tactical slot we're gonna have Snowstalker Jonesy to increase our max grenade ammo a really good hero you can use for your tactical slot when playing with Wukong is shock specialist AC because he has a tactical squad bonus called shock phase which is gonna allow your shock wave to grant 40% damage resistance for six seconds every time you use it we don't have him leveled up and he's only a green version anyway so we're not going to be using him for this gameplay but i did want to point that out because i feel like his tactical squad bonus would work really well with wukong and the last thing i wanted to point out is that towards the end of the video we decided to experiment with his abilities because i wanted to share with you all a, a really good tip when it comes to soldiers so instead of going for six encampments like we usually do uh, we're just going to go for five and then once we complete five i'll show you the soldier tip Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay, and thanks for watching. Alright, so the mission we're going to be doing is this level 76 destroy the encampments, and Cookies and Uva's going to be helping us out. Alright, so I'm going to try to show some examples of what he can do. As soon as we break our shield, we should have access to another shockwave. There we go. So that's how you can do your shockwaves back to back. It like resets automatically when you lose your your entire shield and we need to craft a better weapon here there we go Whoa. Uh, let's see he's uh, good with assault weapons and with our loadout it would be smart to use assault weapons so I think we're gonna use our vacuum yep. tube rifle grave digger loadout there's the first one. Take out those now another thing I really like about Wukong is that sometimes his shockwave stuns enemies. Like you see right there, we just stunned that blaster. And sometimes that that comes in handy, especially with Miss Monsters. It gives you and your teammates more time to shoot at them and get some damage in before they do damage to your objective. Can you get Uva for me? Yeah, I'm going right now. All right. I'm going right now. Cool. This is the third encampment, right? This is the second one. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and use our shockwave now. So once we lose our shield, uh, we can use it again. Because the cooldown is 30 seconds for the shockwave. So if you want to get another one real quick, just lose your shield <laughs> and that's one of the main reasons I really like Wukong is because he has the perks to help you do more damage with assault weapons but he also has perks to help you do damage with your abilities as well I really like that he's good with weapons and abilities let's find the next one round three fight Plus it looks like the radius is pretty good on the shockwave too. 
so I think we're gonna go ahead and use our Warcry. And you see that like orange aura effect when we use the Warcry? I believe that's the uh, one of his perks that automatically gives Husk into the surrounding area three debilitating shots. That's why his Warcry has that orange sort of glow. I'll show it again here in a second. And he also has a shorter cooldown for the war cry as well. So that one also has a slight buff. Pretty decent war cry. Uh, pretty decent shockwave. Actually, the shockwave is really good. Probably one of the best shockwaves in the game. I haven't tried all the soldiers yet. But I really like his shockwave. Next one's looking tough. You can do it. The only thing I would say. Uh, his abilities is lacking is the frag grenade ability uh, Other soldiers have better frag grenades, but his shockwave is really good and His war cry is pretty decent as well. We need to show them that thing too cookies. Don't let me forget Don't let me forget. Yeah, don't worry. I got you. Okay. Okay, good. Let me know when you're done with the fourth one We got something planned for you guys a little special something something for you guys <laughs> Is this, this is the fourth one, right? Yes, yeah, the fourth one. Yeah, this is the fourth one. Oh, know. we need to craft some ammo, too. Keep that streak going! Not fine. Alright, so the whole map is fully revealed. I'm gonna use the, uh, war cry here. There we go. So yeah, you, you definitely want to use your war cry when you're like surrounded by us. That way you can give them all debilitating shots and you and all your teammates can kill them a lot quicker. This war cry looks pretty badass too. Oh shit. Oh shit. We should have used our uh, shockwave right there. Hold on, I'm trying to get my shield back real quick. Okay, there we go. So this way we can... Get two shock waves. Let's go ahead and throw some of our grenades. There we go. How are you holding up over there? We're good. After this one, like when we get to the third wave, go ahead and just start building stairs all the way up, alright? We'll do it after this one. Oh man. I need to switch my weapons real quick. There we go. We got wider enemies. Oh. And normally they have three grenades. The reason we have five is because we have Snow Star for Jonesy. Oh, cookies, are you close? No, it's okay, don't worry, I got I got it. Alright. Go ahead, I'm gonna have to try to speed things up here a little bit. Want to make sure we have enough time to do six and our little surprise for you all. Well, it's not really a surprise. It's nothing major. I don't want to hype it up too bad, but just a little something I wanted to try out in the gameplay. There we go. Let's use that. There we go. But yeah, I think for the next Destroy the Encampment, we'll try level 82. I believe that's the next difficulty. And then once we do that, we will try level 88. Let's see how that goes. Oh man, they are slowing me down. Let's go use our work card real quick. There we go. Oh man. If you have a rocket I can use, down so I can help you. Yeah, I can make another one after this. Go ahead and start yeah. uh, building the stairs if you can. Uh, where can you find the next one? Survivalist perk is helping us get our health back right now. There we go. Well, adrenaline rush help too. We did use that. Man, these guys keep falling. This helps us get back closer to full health. There we go. Not possible. Uh, we're still missing like one more us. No, yeah, they're right here where I am. 
I think these are the guys right uh, here. Bring, yeah, bring them over here. Let me get to you. Let me get to you. Let me, yep. Yeah, I'm coming to you right now. I think it's the water zombie and that one. All right, last wave. Go uh, ahead and start building the stairs, cookies, like down the street. Just build them all the way up. All the way yep. up? Yep, all the way up. How high you want it? All the way up, cookies. Oh my god. All the way up. Got it, got Let's it. Let's go use our war cry. That is too high. Oh my god. Okay, everyone, ready? I got it. Okay, good, good, good. Look out, force under attack. Basically, we're gonna uh, jump from the highest point and not take any damage. You ready, cookies? All right, count to three. Are we gonna? Oh, okay. One, two, three. Oh, I used it. I used it. Oh wait. Oh shit. Wait, wait, what? We both died. That's embarrassing, cookies. <laughs> Did you see <laughs> we just jump to our deaths? I saw that! I literally saw that. Like, like, wow. It's like in the middle. <laughs> it's like the floor. Here's a tip. <laughs> jump. <laughs> Here's a tip. Jump to your death. <laughs> oh my god. Like. <laughs> Just, just make sure you don't fall off the map. Just oh make sure God. it's like in the center of the map. <laughs> Dude, I just I have no words for that. <laughs> Look how high we were. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm done for the rest of the video, man. Y'all can do whatever. <laughs> I'm done, man. All right, so this is the part where we started experimenting with the soldier abilities. But as you can tell in this gameplay, we ended up failing. And the reason it didn't work is because we used our shockwave ability too early. So I'm gonna go ahead and show an example of what it looks like when it does work. And again, you can do this from any height and all you have to do is jump off and wait till you get really close to the ground before you use your shockwave. You will take a little bit of damage, but you won't die like you normally would if you jumped from that height without using any abilities. So yeah, that was another tip I wanted to point out when it comes to not only Wukong, but any soldier that has shockwave. You can jump from any height, use your shockwave when you get close to the ground, and you won't die. But yeah guys, Wukong is definitely a hero I would recommend getting if you were wondering if you should get him or not. I believe we covered all of his abilities and perks in the gameplay. Let me know what y'all think about him in the comments below. I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.